Tonight, Charlotte Mecklenburg school leaders are meeting with county commissioners to talk about how to improve students' education. But given the recent fights and guns found in CMS campuses, many are also seeking solutions to violence in schools. Effective today, one school is enforcing new safety policies for students. WCNC Charlotte's Lana Harris joins us live where that meeting between county and school leaders is kicking off now. Lana. Good evening. So school leaders aren't waiting for any guidance from this meeting. After seeing all the fights at other schools, not only are they disciplining the students who fight, they're cracking off down on the students who record video of the fights and students who stick around to watch them. Videos like these are becoming all too common in CMS schools. Mecklenburg County Sheriff Gary McFadden says it's a shame. When you see these fights now, the person is getting beaten up and everybody is jockeying for a position to film it. And after they film it, they want to post it, and then everybody knows about it. McFadden says that can turn a small incident into something potentially fatal. And when the person gets shot, they want to know why. We'll look at all the comments and look at all the stuff that they're doing, and guess what? You are just fueling the fire. McFadden says he continuously sees the consequences firsthand. We get the results of them inside my detention center. Butler High School is now cracking down on those who record fights. Starting Monday, any student identified filming a fight will have their phone confiscated and face up to five days of suspension. Students who witness a fight and refuse to leave when told by staff could face up to two days of suspension. And all students will be made to participate in conflict resolution training. CMS board member Sean Strain said in a statement that he was tremendously supportive of the new rules, saying while restorative practices are certainly encouraged, Accountability for one's decisions and actions must also be enforced. McFadden says he'd like to see more parents involved in teaching their kids how grave the consequences of social media can be. Intervening in these beefs or disruptions or, or social media posts, getting involved now before it gets to the height of a gun violence or a shooting. Now, CMS has said that they are committed to making sure that all of their schools are safe. They said that they are working on district-wide safety precautions and that they've already started pilot programs in certain schools aimed at preventing violence. Lana Harris, WCNC Charlotte. Lana, thank you. And the head of the district reassured parents and students addressing violence in schools was, quote, a top priority when he sent a letter to families last week. It was partially in response to the deadly school shooting in Michigan. Our team will follow that county and CMS joint meeting and we'll have much more at 11 o'clock.